This classification importance, I will repeat it. This classification has got very popular now with the anatomist, with the surgeons, with the radiologist and with the oncologist because this gives a universal language to communicate about in certain involved lymph nodes in between the different subspeciality of doctors. Right? If an oncologist is saying that, or radiologist is saying that I see the lymph nodes which are enlarged in level 2, oncologists exactly understand which lymph node he is talking about. Right? Second advantage of this is that if you know this and you know the cancer, primary cancer, you will do only necessary dissection of the lymph nodes which are most probably involved. So this has given us, uh, you can say, opportunity to that in head and neck cancer, we can do relatively selective surgery and morbidity in patient is reduced and complications are reduced, right? And uh, another important thing related with this is that even in research, research labs, when they are doing on certain level of lymph nodes, they can communicate very easily that when one doctor means level 1A, everyone understands which lymph node group is being talked about. So, very important for anatomist, pathologist, radiologist, because if a surgeon take a lymph node and send to the, or he take a fine needle biopsy, he will send it to the pathologist, he should mental this sample is taken from level 3 lymph node, right? So that pathologist can think of what kind of pathologies I can expect under the microscope, what kind of metastatic cells or cancer cells I can expect, right? So it's this classification has made life easy for the people who are very interested in neck other than surgery, no who are really interested in pathologies and surgeries. That anatomist, yes, radiologist, pathologist, oncologist and surgeon, right? And radiologists have two important things about this. They use a little modified uh, uh, Robbins classification, I will not go into that detail, but radiologists have two because number one, they are diagnostic radiologists which can tell exactly where the pathological lymph node is present. Second is therapeutic uh, uh, radiologist which are giving, what is this, radiation to the involved lymph nodes. They know that if, if they know which level they have to target, they know exactly what should be the field of radiation. 